Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. So you guys know about my next level chassis that I run on my rig. It is that GT Elite. Big shout out to Next Level Racing for that. So I do have my NRG Innovations bucket seat on there, which is a great seat and a cool sim seat, but over time and longevity, it is a little bit uncomfortable. It's great in a real race car, but on a sim, sometimes uh, comfortability is a factor. And when doing long endurance stents and stuff like I've been doing recently or long drift sessions, uh, it gets a little uncomfortable at times, and uh, I've also had to steal my wife's gaming chair over here to uh, be comfortable from doing other stuff on my computer. But I think Next Level Racing has solved my issue with their new ERS3, so we're going to take a look at that, and hopefully uh, we can give my wife her chair back, maybe, maybe not, we'll see. So let's get into this. So I did get it all installed on my GT Elite chassis. I did opt for just bolting it to my frame that's already there. Uh, because of the height and how I have my uh, rig set up with my pedals, this is like the most comfortable uh, height. If I put it on with the risers, say from the other seat, it might have been too high. I mean, I could raise my pedals and stuff, uh, ignore all my wiring, but I felt like it was better just to set it up this way and have it like this. So we're gonna go get on the in the game and go and kind of do a comfortability check on this thing and kind of give it a full shakedown. So getting it on the rig and getting in position, it's actually really nice to have a seat slider, which I've never actually had before on any of my other rigs. So it's nice to have a seat slider and it's actually really comfortable, extremely bouncy. And even though it's a reclining chair, I don't find it moving like weirdly in the back like it doesn't flex it doesn't do anything like that so it's kind of really nice and like i said uh, my height position is kind of where i want it to be so i didn't do it on the risers i did it this way now overall it's nice and squishy and really comfortable where i could find myself sitting in this seat for a very long time uh, which is great when you're doing stints long races and stuff like that but i think the coolest thing is like say i'm in a race and i'm now i'm just waiting to be in or i'm in like a lull or practice is over or i'm waiting to get into the car and like say a team endurance race with the slider i have the ability to just like slide my seat forward grab the reclining handles and just recline back and chill and actually just wait for my turn and then put my seat back where i need it to be put my seat back into position lock it in place and now I'm good to race. Like, so I have the ability to do that with this seat, with the reclining, and not be so far back. Like, if I want to be aggressive racing and go, you know, vertical, that's great. If I want to be a little more chilled or relaxed, you know, I can go this way. I can recline the chair a little bit more and just kind of just lay back and have, like, a cool drift session if I want to. Or, you know, go try hard and put my seat more vertical and be try hard racing. So... We're going to go drive this thing. We are in ACC on Laguna Seca in an M4 GT3. And we're going to go full send, running our Moza 
you know, R12 based KS racing wheel on our GT Elite Next Level chassis and the new ERS3 chair, which is uh, quite nice. And, you know, it, it doesn't have such a high side bolster, so it's easier to get in and out of it other than like my full racing bucket seat. And it's a lot wider for like the shoulders. So if you're like a bigger guy or something like that, you know, you have that, uh, wow. Hey, don't hit your brakes or uh, clutch instead of your brakes. We're gonna talk about it. good thing we're in a free practice. So overall, the comfortability of this chair, you know, with not being an emotion rig is great. Okay. Let's dial up our track control as high as we can right now under cold tires. Um, so it's, you know, with mo not moving around or anything like that, it's great because you're not having to worry about being pushed out of the rig. But if you put like seatbelts on this thing through the actual seatbelt hoops, I feel like this thing would be super solid, but it is really comfortable, really squishy. I like the feel of it and the material is great. And you know, it is just a great addition to my GT Elite chassis. So big thank you to Nox Level Racing for, uh, sending this out to me and uh, give me the chance to take a look at this seat. Oh man, I got a lot of squirrely through there. So it is actually the adjustability with the seat sliders and the reclinability is super nice and a lot of reclining seats are not great when you do things like that. Uh, a lot of uh, reclining seats tend to be a little bit flexible, like they tend to be like kind of uh, flexing and I'm not on my wall so I'm gonna slide it a little bit forward so there's a gap behind my wall and it's not moving at all so it's super comfortable it doesn't move around there's no real flex and I'm kind of running my wheel at a lot of force feedback so it's there's a little bit of shake in my chassis like the whole thing but the seat's not flexing so it's really nice really comfortable and there's a lot of padding there's a lot of bounce to it in the backrest and the seat itself so it's really quite nice i don't know why i broke there i'm trying to uh talk about the seat but i'm not really focusing i need to get that off the mouse is about to fall off my chassis so it's quite nice and very uh very well designed for like nice solidness uh but like I said, it's it is nice and wide for if you're a you know, larger style person or bigger, wider shoulders. Because I'm kind of like a little narrow person when it comes to seats. Because I have, a lot of my friends can't get into that next level seat or the uh, NRG seat I have because it's really small and I barely fit in there with you know being a tight fit. So it's great, but for like longevity on a sim rig, sometimes like comfortability is more important than style and look and this seat is quite comfortable I still don't find myself moving around too much in it even if I'm purposely trying to throw myself around in the chair so it is definitely quite comfortable I'll leave the link and everything down in the description for you guys to uh, take a look at it yourself and once again a big thank you to next level racing for uh, sending this out to me you know next level racing a great partner of the channel with my GT Elite chassis that I use it's super super stable and everything and now this is just a great addition to it um adding everything so now monitor mount seat now whoa oh, man and everything is all next level racing here on my main rig i do have my secondary classical rig also which i have a video on my channel about that a little uh, more uh inexpensive kind of collapsible space saving chassis i'll leave the link down in the description box for the video on that one as well that is my secondary testing rig so once again, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and taking a look at this and uh, seeing this new seat that they are releasing. This thing is really comfortable. So if you're looking for a good reclining seat, definitely would recommend taking a look at this ERS3 seat. It is uh, super nice. So I'm going to go back to trying to get more consistent here in ACC with uh, a new league that I'll be racing in with my friends here on GT Force here in ACC, which I'll be bringing to the channel as well, as well as uh, some more drifting stuff. And we're gonna probably throw ourselves into some drifting here in a set of courses with this seat, which I don't think is gonna make any huge difference when it comes to like, if I'm gonna slide out, if I'm getting really aggressive into drifting. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. Once again, a big thank you to Next Level Racing. As always, I'd like to 
thank you for coming back for another video. Oh, we missed our braking zone by a lot. I'll see you guys on the track.